Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're returning. Today's video is actually a request that I'm fulfilling. I'm going to be giving you 10 styling tips on how to dress for the workplace. I will link everything in the description box below and if anything is sold out, I will try to find something similar for you guys. I also want to say about this video, I obviously don't work in an office every day. This is my interpretation of what I would wear to an office and this is also based off of what I see as a pretty typical work culture in today's society but if any of these pieces are totally off base for what is appropriate in your workplace feel free to switch out whatever works better for you other than that I'm super excited to show you guys all of these really cute workwear pieces starters I'm kind of gonna go over a couple of basic pieces that I'm going to be working in throughout a lot of these looks I think the first thing that I'm gonna go over with you guys is actually footwear I have a couple pairs of shoes down here I think that it's good to have a couple of pairs of heels for work because heels are professional and they help dress up a look and seem appropriate for a workplace to me the first pair I'm gonna show you guys is this black pair of heels from Alias May they are an Australian footwear brand and these are really really nice quality but also super cute and super comfortable they go with so many looks and not only can you wear them to the workplace but also just out and about street style for a dressier night etc and then another kind of heel that i feel like is good to have around is a pump this is obviously a super classic workwear style of a shoe they're super comfortable because they have this thick block heel and the white leather is just really easy to match with everything it's very chic it's very classic another classic workwear shoe is a loafer so I love these they seem very sophisticated very chic but they're also extremely comfortable these are actually just from Target I think they're around $20 and they look really nice they're really comfortable and they're actually good quality for the price so these are really nice to have to throw on for a more comfortable workwear look I think having a pair of white booties is super important for any wardrobe but these are also great for workwear they're chic sophisticated classic and they match almost everything and sort of to go off of that i also think you should have a good pair of black booties so this is one of my favorite pairs these are from nasty gal i love the square toe i think it's super chic and sophisticated these are also great to wear with street style i wear these all the time really comfortable they match everything and totally just something you should have around I also think you should have a sort of chic and classy pair of like thigh high boots really good for obviously everyday style too but to pair with dresses and midi skirts stuff like that in the fall and winter I think these are great for the workplace for the warmer months I think you should definitely get a pair of neutral comfortable cute sandals because these are going to go so well for like casual friday looks or anything with like a little sundress a modest dress anything like that i think that these are perfect these are also from alias may and they're insanely comfortable really nice quality and i love that they're white because it adds just like a nice pop to every look lastly just a pair of like white sneakers i think is great for those casual friday looks or maybe even a midi skirt or a more modest dress they kind of add like a playful touch to the look without being too bold or loud, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, the next thing I wanted to show you guys that's really fun to add into a lot of workwear looks is actually blue light glasses. Movement has a ton of these frames. I've been wearing their blue light glasses for a while, actually, and I get so many compliments on them. I always get asked where they're from. So if you haven't noticed, blue light glasses is sort of a new trend of frames that help protect your eyes from blue light which comes off of screens so phones computers tvs etc these are really cute too and really fun to sort of add into a look they make you feel a little more sophisticated and just sort of a fun work accessory i think they're in like a tortoise frame this is what they look like on instantly make me feel smarter and more professional <laughs> And this is the icon pair with the black rims this is what this pair looks like on they're really cute a little bit daintier and more simple than the ingram i would say so definitely really nice accessory to have these are super good quality too and i actually have a discount code if you guys want to shop them i will have 
the code here as well as the link in the description box. All right, the next thing I want to share with you guys is having a workwear bag. This bag is so nice to have around. Neverfull by Louis Vuitton in the medium size and it fits everything. That's why it's called the Neverfull. It's great to put your laptop in, lots of books, planners, files, whatever. Throw your phone in there and it's really cute. I would definitely say that if you can afford to invest in a nice bag like this, it's totally worth it, especially if you're going into work five days out of the week and you want something nice to carry your stuff around in, that's also cute. This is such a classic bag for that. It's so good. It's also a really good travel bag. If you guys aren't trying to break the bank and you still want a nice workwear bag, I also wanted to show you guys this tote from Target. So I love Target, obviously, who doesn't? But they actually have such good work style bags like this. This is very similar in size to the Neverfull. And it's basically the same concept, just like a nice tote bag that you can throw on your shoulder. It can fit your laptop, lots of paperwork, files, whatever, and it's very chic too. Either way, I would definitely suggest getting a nice workwear bag that you can throw all of your stuff into that matches all of your outfits. It will just help every look sort of come together and feel a little more sophisticated. Okay, and then my last little accessory add-on styling tip is actually going to be making your hands look nice, if that makes sense. If not, I'll explain. I think it makes a huge difference to get a manicure, have your nails done, because you're staring at them all the time, and it just feels and looks better if they look nice from there i also wanted to show you guys some nice workwear accessories that you can wear on your hands i think having a watch is actually a must in the workplace because it's practical of course but it also just really ties a look together and makes it seem much more professional and clean, polished, sophisticated. So if you don't have a watch yet, I would definitely say you should get one because it's just gonna elevate your workwear look. I wanted to show you guys a few of my favorite watches, again, from Movement, the same place that the blue light glasses were from. So this is one of my favorite watches. It is a rectangular shape and it's just gold with a white face. It's super chic, very simple, and also a little vintage vibe and it matches pretty much everything and this is another one of their watches that i love it's also gold and it's more of like that classic round style so this is more of an everyday watch i would say the other one is a little more trendy and stylistic but this is just a very classic staple and the last one i wanted to show you guys is like the suede strap it's got a gray face and some gold accents so this one is a little more casual and simple i would say than the other two a little less flashy and and this is great for just the more casual and simple looks that you would wear to the workplace. As well as wearing a watch, I think it's super nice to dress that up with a couple of simple bracelets. And these bracelets are also from Movement. This one has some spike texture and then this one is just smooth. And they're little snap bangles. You can wear them with no watch. They're just really nice to have. And I also love rings. I obviously don't think you should or have to wear all of these at once to the workplace, but I just wanted to show you guys a couple of my favorite rings and it just makes your hands look nice. Okay, now for the clothing items that I want to share with you guys. First up, I wanted to talk about button ups. Button ups are obviously an insanely button ups obviously a super classic piece to wear in a workplace so obviously i had to include that classic button ups in neutral colors like a white one or a black one are great to have but i also think that you can play around with the trend and do something more fun like a leopard print a zebra print maybe polka dots or a pastel color wear them dressed up or dressed down and they'll still be work appropriate either way so the first way I have this styled is with a pair of denim. And I think that these are work appropriate denim if you are able to wear denim in your place of work. They have no holes in them, no distressing. They're not too tight and they're a nice light wash. And it's really good just with this simple belt to sort of add another touch and make it a little more sophisticated. For shoes, I love 
rocking the white pumps with this look. I like that it's a little bit more casual with the denim and then I'm dressing it up with the pair of heels. For another look that you can wear that button up with, I paired it with these white slacks. They're super flowy, they've got pockets. I think that they're really nice for the workplace because they're really comfortable, but they're still chic and sophisticated. And these are a little bit longer, so I paired the sandals from Alias May with these to give me a little bit of height. And then in the cooler months, I would probably just do a closed-toed booty to give me the height with this outfit. The next trend I want to share with you guys is midi and maxi skirts. So I obviously don't think a mini skirt is appropriate for the workplace, but I do think that these longer lengths and skirts is so chic and so nice and it's really versatile too. The first one I have here is from H&M and it's got this really interesting sort of abstract pattern on it of pairing these with just like a simple top piece so for the warmer months i would do this little tank top and just tuck it in i paired it with this belt again because it's a, actually the skirt's a little too big for me so i sort of just cinched it in with that belt and then for the shoes on this one i also love wearing the sandals for the warmer months it just seems like a nice springy sophisticated look and then for the cooler months i actually paired it with this black turtleneck this is a classic piece to have in your closet and especially for the workplace it works great i did the same method just sort of tucked it into the skirt belted it with the belt i actually like adding in those over the knee boots for a winter or fall look i think it's just really cute and sophisticated as well i also wanted to show you guys this midi skirt so this is a little bit more fun this is such a nice piece i'm obsessed with this skirt i styled it on my instagram a few weeks ago and i got so many compliments on it it's a little bit neon but with the leopard print pattern it sort of tones that down a bit the fit is so nice it's still a midi so it's very modest i would say but it's pretty like form fitting and it really accentuates your curves i got a size extra small on this it fits perfectly and i just think it's really fun i paired it here with just a plain white t-shirt for um just a pretty simple look and it's very comfortable and like i said would be great for a casual friday or something next thing i'm going to talk about is blazers blazers are an absolute must for any closet in my opinion so if you don't have a blazer yet you really need them for all kinds of reasons but i'm going to show you guys a couple of different blazers here if you wanted to throw in like a fun pop of color each season a blazer would be a great piece to maybe get in like a lilac purple for spring or a buttery yellow and then for winter maybe you get a red one or a deep green one something like that could really be fun so first up is a classic black oversized boxy blazer this is definitely a trendy item and it's great for streetwear but I also think that it works amazing for the workplace. This one is from Zara, and I love pairing this with either slacks or how I have it here with just like a white t-shirt and denim. I think it's a perfect look for the workplace. And then I also wanted to show you guys this little houndstooth one that I have. I wear this all the time for street style as well, but it's super nice to have to add a little bit of a texture as opposed to just a solid blazer. And again, this goes well with slacks, skirts, dresses, whatever, and pairs nicely over the same kind of look this black blazer just did, a jeans, t-shirt, and then some nice shoes and a bag. I also wanted to show you guys how I like to style a blazer maybe for the cooler months. I have this chocolatey brown color, which I think you can wear year round, but is really nice for fall and winter. And then just pairing it with a pair of fun slacks like these leopard print ones that I picked up from H&M and then actually layering a turtleneck under a blazer is one of my favorite styling tips for the cooler months and I think it works great for the workplace. Next up is matching sets. This is a little pinstripe suit that I picked up. It's got the capri length trousers and just a nice light blazer and i think it pairs perfectly with just a casual simple t-shirt but also works great with maybe a turtleneck in the cooler months or a blouse whatever i just think it makes it super easy to get dressed and it's just a very chic little set next up is work appropriate pants so for starters i picked out this more seasonal pair of palm leaf print trousers from H&M and I love that they're a bit looser and 
airy. I paired them with this little peplum top, but because the pants are more of a flare out, I actually tucked the peplum top in because I just think that looks better. I just wanted to style this pair of pants because I feel like it's important to still have fun with your fashion at work. And although these may not work all year round, I think it's good to have a couple of seasonal trendy pieces in there. I also think it's important to have some more classic workwear pants. So this is a pair of trousers from Lovers and Friends at Revolve. And it's just like a nice plaid print. It actually does have a little bit of pink in it, which gives it a pop of fun. But overall, it's still very classic and neutral. And then I paired that with this nice blouse. I think having sort of a romantic flowy blouse like this that's still modest and not too gaudy is really nice for the workplace. And it just pairs really well together and is a very classic chic look and this pair of slacks is another pretty classic pair i actually got these from windsor so they're super affordable they're sort of like a taupey tan again and their nice flare out style seems pretty classic for slacks to me and i think that they're just really nice to have around they can pair with turtlenecks blouses sweaters button-ups whatever i paired it with this little silky top from H&M which I thought was just super chic and it looked like a very work appropriate top to me. All right the last thing I wanted to show you guys is modest dresses. For starters I have this little gingham dress from Who What Wear at Target which is a great place to get workwear if you guys are in the market for some really chic nice pieces that aren't going to break the bank. So freaking adorable but also really modest it's not super short it goes all the way up on the neck the sleeves are a little bit longer so i think it's just perfect and it's really cute and it's also fun and seasonal this is a little baby doll style dress almost from h&m and it's so adorable what I love about this dress is I think it's perfect for spring and summer because of the style and it's floral, but then I also think it's perfect for fall because of the color. So it's a very versatile piece that will carry you into a couple of different seasons, which is great. And if you're shopping for workwear, I would definitely keep things like that in mind so you can get a lot of wear out of them. It's super comfortable and flowy and it looks so cute again with the sneakers or sandals. And then if you wanted to wear it in in the fall or winter I would pair it with the over knee over the knee boots and I think that's perfect for that lastly I have this floral print little dress and when I first saw this something about it caught my eye but then I was also like wait is that really ugly is that from the 70s or something it's kind of weird but I was like I'm just gonna get it I'm gonna see if I like it and if I can style it well because it really fit the bill for being a modest like classic workwear dress and I think that it's actually really cute this may not be everyone's style the print is pretty bold but I think it's perfect because it's totally conservative and it looks so cute with the little white booties and I think it's perfect for spring because it's floral but again it's perfect going into winter and fall because it's got the longer sleeves this one is probably solely for work but it's good to have a couple pieces like that in your closet so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys liked this if you like seeing these work wear outfits let me know i could do more try on haul videos like my normal try on haul style with only work wear pieces maybe like once a season or something so if you guys are into that let me know in the comments below and definitely keep sending me your requests i have a big list of them and i promise i'm trying to get to them all so thank you as always for watching and i will see you guys in my next video